Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue, okay? Today, we're going to be smoking some chicken wings. Nothing new. We've smoked chicken wings before. But these chicken wings are in honor of my New Orleans Saints, baby. Who that, baby? Who that? So far in the season, we got four wins and one loss. We got a bye this weekend, so I'm going to miss seeing my boys play this Sunday. However, in honor of my boys, I've been dying to make this recipe. I saw this recipe last year, and this recipe called for us to fry or grill the chicken wings. I didn't want to do that. I really want to smoke some chicken wings, still get that crispiness, and still use that sauce in the recipe. So this is a combination of two different recipes, technique and ingredients wise. And I'll put the uh, link for both the original uh, cooking uh, recipes in the description block. Okay, so this is kind of our combined twist, the combined bad beast barbecue twist on some who that wings, baby. Who that? Who that? That's right. So uh, what we're going to do here today is uh, we're going to sprinkle these with this recipe here. Now, you know, the way to make uh, chicken wings crispy when you're putting them in the oven or on the smoker and things of that nature is to use baking powder, okay? Baking powder has a chemical reaction and it helps to crisp up the skin, okay? So so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. These, uh, this is about three pounds of uh, chicken wings. I've separated the flats from the drumettes and I've discarded the tips, okay? We've washed them. We've cleaned them very well. They're dried off, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our rub on these bad boys, okay? And then we're gonna let them sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick them on the Rectech 680. Uh, we're gonna start them off at 245 degrees so that I can use the extreme smoke function on the 680, okay? We're gonna let them go for about 30 to 40 minutes trying to dry out a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and we'll kick the temperature up to about 425 degrees and we're going to let these bad boys rock for about another 40 minutes until they get done and they're nice and golden at that point we'll pull them off and then we'll go ahead and show you how we make the sauce that we're going to toss these in so hey don't go nowhere i'm going to do this real quick prep work i'm going to show you just putting them out there on the rec tech 680 and then we'll come back and i'll show you how we do the sauce and we'll toss them and we'll get down to business, okay? It ain't gonna be nothing but a breezy afternoon. See how I did that, number nine, Drew Breeze. Hey, man, who that, baby? Don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so our chicken wings have come off of the Rectech 680. They've been on there for about roughly two hours, and uh, I gotta say they're nice and uh, crunchy. Got nice skin to them, and uh, the bacon uh, powder definitely did its job. They're nice and crispy. Most of them are anyway. Mm. But now it's time for us to go ahead and make our sauce, okay? Mm. These some good flavors without the sauce. Okay, let me throw this away. All right, guys, so you can hear the chicken. It's nice and crispy, so just waiting for this luscious sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our sauce. So the first thing we're going uh, to melt is six tablespoons. Ooh, fire a little high. Let me get that down. Six tablespoons of unsalted butter. I don't want my fire too high because I don't want brown butter. 
turn that down. Take this off the fire a little bit. And as soon as uh, this butter melts, we'll add the next couple of ingredients. So just hang on. All right, so our butter is almost uh, fully melted. The next thing we're going to put in is uh, one fourth cup of brown sugar. Now the original recipe called for granulated sugar, but uh, I wanted to use brown sugar because of course you know brown sugar has more of a molasses, a molasses consistency to it. So we're gonna put in one fourth cup of brown sugar and get that mixed in well. All right, so the next thing that we wanna put in is one fourth cup of Louisiana hot sauce. That's right, you can't have Houdat wings without Louisiana hot sauce. So, we pour that in there. Get that mixed together. All right, like so. The brown sugar is still dissolving, so, but it's coming together. All right, so the next thing we're gonna put in here is one tablespoon of soy sauce. The original recipe called for Worcestershire, 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 how do you want to pronounce it? Watch your sister sauce or whatever. But well, uh, I didn't have any, so we're going to use a combination of soy sauce and then we're going to add a little uh, lemon juice to it, okay? So we got the soy sauce, the Louisiana uh, hot sauce, we got the uh, brown sugar, and we have the butter, okay? And then here is, is one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Okay, so we're gonna add a, add a little tang to it, okay? So we're gonna let this go ahead and simmer right quick and uh, till all the flavors come together and then we're gonna pour them over our chicken wings and we'll have a taste test and we'll see exactly how they come out. So hey, who that baby? Hey, don't go nowhere. All right, so our sauce is nice and incorporated. It's heated through, it's been simmering for about two or three minutes. See if you can see what it looks like. See, that's got that nice red color from the, uh, from the hot sauce and then the uh, dark color from the brown sugar and it's all nice and buttery. So we're gonna go ahead and fix our wings. So we're gonna take our wings. We got our who that bowl, got that New Orleans Saints bowl there. We're gonna, you can hear how crunchy these bad boys are. So uh, we'll go ahead and put them in there like so, all right. And we're gonna do our thing. So we're gonna drizzle this all over our wings. Yeah, just like let me turn it this way so you can so you can see the action on the close-up. So yeah, so we'll pour drizzle that all over, just like so. And it's a nice thin glaze. That's what I like about, about this. It's not one of those thick barbecue sauce type glazes or what have you. Alright, so we got that in there. Let's go ahead and toss them around a little bit. Then we can get a second coating on. Yeah, that was looking nice. That was looking nice. All right. And let's get a second coating on them. We don't want to waste none of this sauce. All right. All right. All right. Look at that. See, they're nice and coated now. So all is ready now for us to taste test. All right. So let's move my my little cooktop on the side, all right, get my napkin, and get me a taste, all right. Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to do, which you can do, and I think I left it upstairs, but you can take a little Cajun seasoning also and sprinkle it right quick, and that's what I meant to do, uh, but I left it upstairs, so uh, take a little Cajun season, some Zataran, some Creole season, some Zataran, something like that, some Tony's, and hit it right quick, but this should give you plenty enough flavor, so let's go ahead and get it done. All right. Oh man, you can smell the Louisiana hot sauce. Oh man, it smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and see how this bad boy tastes. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh man. They got that buttery flavor. They got that hot sauce, that heat flavor. Actually, I would put a little bit more hot sauce in here. I might crank it up instead of a fourth of a cup, throw about a half a cup on it just to make it just a little bit hotter and stuff. 
but it's got great flavor from the original rub. It's buttery, it's got some nice heat, and that the, the brown sugar melted in there, bounced out with the sweet, man. Mmm. And the wings are still crunchy, man. Mmm. Man, these are great. These, these taste fantastic. Wow. The only thing that would really put these over the top is if we had brined these wings and we would got flavor all the way through the meat, you know what I'm saying? Because most of the flavor is on the crust, on the outside, and in the sauce. But if you brine these first and then dry them off and then go ahead and hit them with the uh, bacon powder rub, uh, check out the ingredients in the description block, and then go ahead and hit them with this sauce, man, I don't think you can go wrong. Mm. Mm. Who that, baby? Who that? When them saints come marching in. Well, I definitely miss having my brother here for this video because you know we are both, the whole family, die hard New Orleans Saints fan. You know, we bleed black and gold, you know, win, lose, or draw. So, uh, but I'm sure he's going to try this recipe uh, back in Baton Rouge. So, for next weekend's game. So, um, well, it's getting starting to get cold here in Belleville. Waiting for a little fall action. I hope we don't jump straight from summer to winter. Uh, the high today was like 52. Uh, the low is going to be like 47. So, and I know some of you guys are getting snow already. So, but uh, hey, we're going to be doing a lot more uh, indoor cooking when the winter hits uh, pressure cooker and slow cooker. But we're still going to be doing barbecuing outside because, hey, uh, rain, sleet, hail, or snow never stops our low and slow. Hey, Thanks for joining us, guys. And like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to finish watching my LSU uh, Tigers play Georgia. Hopefully, they continue to win. And as always, we'll see you guys around the smoker. <laughs> you sick. Good. Mm. So good.